Welcome to the real deal. What is up, guys? It's your boy, the real deal, and we are back and we are pulling shards. I can't believe it. I don't know what's happened, but the clan boss has been extremely generous over the last couple of weeks, and I've got 29 shards. This is the most amount of shards I've ever had as a free to play. Sorry, as a free to play player. Unbelievable. I've never had this before. Usually I get between 18 to 23. Um, yes, yeah, so I've 29. That's insane. So hopefully I should get something new and something good. Um, yeah. Um, you know, I think the worst luck I've ever had is I've pulled 20 shards and had no legendaries. And the best luck I've ever had is I pulled seven sacreds and I got three legendaries, which was like Varakas, Rotos, and Queen Eva. Uh, you know, and I was I was chuffed. I loved all those champions, so that was, that was I was really pleased with that. But yeah, so twenty nine twenty nine sacreds to pull today. So who do who is on my most wanted? Let's have a quick look. Banner lords, no one import Septimus. Wouldn't mind Septimus. Um, Cassandra is someone on my most wanted. Rosh card, Abbess. Wouldn't be uh, too disappointed with either of those. Actually, is another quick shout would be uh, Archbishop. I think he's going to be really good for Hydra. Barbarians, I've, I've got them all. No one there that I really want. Ogren Tribe, nah. War Mother, wouldn't be too disappointed with her now that bombs are sort of starting to take shape. Uh, no one really uh, in the Lizardmen. No rog would be all right for Hydra. Sorry, just did Skinwalkers. Orcs, uh, Nogda. A lot of people get angry when they pull him. I actually have like been saving. Um, what's that purple gear called? Oh, oh, it's really annoying me. What is it called? Sorry, let's just have a quick look. But yeah, I've been saving loads of this gear for him. Frenzy. Yeah, get it together, real deal. Where, where where are we? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So yeah, look, I've been saving frenzy gear, particularly in case I pull a uh, Nodgar. So yeah, hopefully I'll be pleased. I'll be well pleased with pulled Demon Spawn, Counter Slick, Prince Kaimar, Candrophon, Witha, Duchess. They're all good champions, but yeah, Duchess is definitely probably my most wanted champion. Prince Kaimar, Prince Kaimar's up there as well, and Witha. Is an absolute boss for uh, arena defense. Uh, Dark Elves, I'm doing pretty good, but I wouldn't be too disappointed with uh, Xaviar. Night Revs, Tomb Lord. Tomb Lord would be great. Cavalax as well. And Mountain King, I really want as well. Um, he would be great for arena defense. Trunda, I'd be pretty pleased with her as well, but I've got a lot of great nukers, so wouldn't really change my account too much. And Boragra, Boraga. Um, I'll be quite happy to kill him as well. Not seeing this guy, Gronja, Gronja. Um, must be new. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I do remember this guy. Yeah, came out recently. I haven't really seen him. He looks pretty cool though. Loving the sword. Loving those hands of fire. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. And Shadowkin, pretty stat for them. Oh, Lady Kimmy and Koyoku. I'd be very pleased to have either of those. She's great for arena defense. And Lady Kimmy, to be fair, uh, good for arena offense and defense. Um, like it's sort all of cutting in and just, yeah, boosting turn meter and all that good stuff. Okay. So the moment you've all been waiting for. Far? Far? Four. Let's pull some shards. All right. So let's start strong. Ah, oh, Captain Tamila, don't use her. Not great. I thought it was that other one that you can use for solo bommel. Spider, um, I used to lose, use him a lot back in the day. Um, he is actually like really good. Immortal, uh, immortal set would be great on him, and he just wants speed and accuracy. Um, he does weaken and defense. Uh, great for the spider boss and just all dungeons in general. Yeah, I'd use him for like level 20. Cornelia, yeah, she's great as well. Um, I don't really use her. I do have her, like, I try to use her to solo Bommel. 
and I just couldn't get to work. I don't know if I was just, my stats were insane as well. I don't know if I was just too fast, but yeah, it wasn't working for me. But yeah, I think she's pretty decent for dungeons though. So if you do pull her, she's pretty pretty worth uh, leveling up. Here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, Koku. I've wanted this chick for a long time. Oh my god, yeah, she is great for arena defense. Um, I've had it before where she sort of just kept doing block damage and I couldn't kill her because she just kept having that block damage up. She has like high resistance and just healing herself up. Really annoying, but yeah, great champion. Um, so what does she do? Places a uh, ally protect buff on all allies except this champion for two turns. Also places block damage buff on this champion for three turns and then grants an extra turn. So basically, yeah, she can just keep that up. Every time this champion is hit with a critical hit, kills all allies by 50% of their max HP, and then places a 60% increased defense buff on all allies for two turns. That's a great, that's a passive, yeah, great passive there. Um, it's a bit like Seeker's ability, but it also has a heal in there as well. Um, increase defense in all battles by 30%, great aura. Um, okay, so block hurdle level. What am I going about? Yeah. Okay. Attack all enemies has a percent chance of doing decreased uh, attack. So that's bookable to hundred percent. And then after attacking has a hundred percent when fully booked, facing HP debun on all enemies for two turns. But okay, so if she doesn't land the decreased attack, then she's going to try and put burn on. That's not great to be honest. Um, to be fair, I wouldn't really probably user in uh pve she might be good for dungeons but i'd rather use her for pvp all right and then she can also put out weak as well so that's not great it's more about her her a3 being just absolutely super annoying for the arena so yeah i'm gonna be leveling her up soon uh, actually i think the champion training starting tomorrow so yeah i will be working on that tomorrow Caden, he's all right um yeah great for faction wars This guy, I know of him, but don't really, I don't know, don't use him. Just like, I don't know, just too ugly. Rock Breaker, um, I use him in my dual faction. Only have to level up to 50 to clear it. Uh, I had no reviver and just use Brogney. And then, you know, a couple of healers and DPS champions. So yeah, that's very doable. Muslim Mage, great. Um, if you do have him and you pull a, seat, a Seer, Great combo. Um, you'll be dropping waves like nobody's business. All right, nine shards in, and we've pulled one of my most wanted uh, legendaries so far. Any other epics I want? Oh, who's that dwarf? Oh, Felija. She's new. Um, I, what, what does she do? Attacks all enemies, fills this champion turn meter by 15%, and heals them by 15% of the damage inflicted by this attack if, if it's critical. All right, so make sure you put uh, make sure she's got 100% crit rate. Uh, probably crit rate gloves a good way to go about. Attack one enemy has a 75% chance of fully depleting the target's turn meter. All right, so it'd be 100% if fully booked. So she's probably quite good for um, fire knight. Uh, the only problem is she doesn't really have like multiple hits. Like sort of for fire knight, you want to be out hitting them sort of three times. If this champion has two or fewer buffs at the start of the turn, places increased attack buff and increased damage on this champion for one turn. Not bad, not bad. Okay, yeah. she's. I wouldn't say she's amazing, but she looks alright. Uh, Geomancer, that's the one. I, I love another Geomancer. Great for Hydra. Uh, Magna, um, another Magna. I think I'll be quite pleased with that. Yeah, any sort of champion that I can use for Hydra is a great pull. All right, um, Allure, this is my fourth one. I don't need four, but I will hold on to her. Just, I, don't, I just feel like maybe a player in the future might do um, empowerment for um, epic champions. So if it's like an S top, top, top tier champion like Allure, I'm definitely going to hold on to it just in case because you just never know. Oh, come on. I need I need another legendary. I feel like I haven't pulled one for a while now. All right, let's just take a break. Let's just uh pull pull a common. 
break the cycle, go back. I mean, I'm pleased that that is like I pulled like a unique champion that I really want. But come on, I want something else. Give me a, just give me some, give me something tasty. Oh. Come on. Oh my god, this is disappointing. 29 shards and what is it this is so dry this is like the dry this is the coldest streak ever i was so pumped at the beginning of this video oh yeah 29 shards we're gonna be hot and spicy and yeah i'm getting nothing come on oh my god Come on, come on. Oh. oh, and it's a deep tantra. Um, yeah, I've got a leveled up. I don't use her really at all. Um, I saw these videos come out when she first came out and everyone's like really hyping her up. The Doom Tower and apparent you can use her in Bommel um, because she has a unique passive where she basically decreases his accuracy for every debuff on him. Um, but you need sort of high accuracy and high resistance on her to get it to work. So, and uh, I guess the only thing is she does have a uh, accuracy aura, so that does help. But I couldn't get it to work. It's like the bomber is really hard to get those high accuracy and resistant team to get it to work. So yeah, uh, so another cantra that's gonna go in the vault. Uh, at least I can do another empowerment for Bavarian faction though. And I do have three Valkyries, so that will help boost my Valkyries. I might get more defense on them, so that is useful because um, you know their shield um, scale off defense and so does her damage. So that's a bit useful. But other than that, not great to be honest. Bit bit disappointed. Oh come on. Come on, one more Lego. What? Husk. I think this is my fourth husk, so I don't really need it, but I will hold on to it because, like I said, it might be useful in the future. Uh, okay, Hexa. Yeah. She's, she's not bad. She's not great. I think you don't really use her in Faction Wars. Uh, all right, then. So, not, not, not the best results, but we did get um oh go away where is she come on where are you where are you hiding yeah kaioku oh, okay yeah i mean to be fair as well i love the way she looks like that shield and her i don't know what it is like um pointy stick i think it's a mace i'd say it's like a mace crossed with a javelin but um yeah and just like she just she's beautiful like and just like the detail on her is it a skirt yeah on her skirt or dress yeah i mean yeah beautiful beautiful champion anyway thank you very much for watching that is the end of the video please leave me a cheeky thumbs up and make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Peace!